Here is an interesting take on predicting the stock market price by Jordan Peterson. Is talk to you about how things might be true from a Darwinian perspective. And if you think you can knock any holes in this argument, go right ahead because I've been hacking away at it for a while and I haven't been able to. So, you know, Darwin had, had this theory back in the late 1800s, which you're no doubt all aware of. And it was basically predicated on two fundamental axioms. And the first axiom was that there's natural variability in a population. And that was later discovered to be associated with genetic variability. And that that genetic variability could transform, as mutations do that. And that was, in some sense, a later addition to Darwin's theory. And then the natural environment selects the most, the organism that's most suitable to the current environment, all things considered, so that it can propagate, right? And then whatever propagates moves to the next generation and the same process occurs again. Okay, now, there's a variety of complications about that theory that I'm going to lay out a little bit. Um, when the Victorians first got a hold of this theory, they kind of thought that it meant that there was a natural hierarchy, right? That as evolution progressed, it progressed. And that higher organisms followed in the trail of lower organisms. And so, in some sense, even though it wasn't a natural or necessary presumption for those who adopted Darwinian theory, the idea of a hierarchy of value, in some sense, was still part of Darwinian theory. So we could say, well, human beings are, you know, evolution has led over its billions of years to us, and we're far more complicated than simple creatures. So it seems like there's a process, at least, of increasing complexification going on, and maybe that has something to do with increased value. We're more fit. Now, modern, dar modern evolutionary biologists take issue with this, because they don't really think that there is any directionality in evolution, and after all, there's still plenty of one-celled organisms around. In fact, there are more one-celled organisms in your body than there are your own cells by a huge margin. So, so the idea that there's a necessary direction in evolution, rain going from simple to more complex, is not formally true, except that obviously there are much more complex organisms than there were around a couple of billion years ago, and so there does seem to be some directionality um, in some cases, and it's not exactly obvious why that is. So, so the reason I'm telling you that is because it's not self-evident that creatures as they evolve become more fit, so to speak. And so what evolutionary theme seems to be about, evolutionary the theory seems to be about at a deeper level, is something like a dance between the environment and the organism. So, the, organ the environment keeps transforming, and it does that unpredictably. I wouldn't say randomly, but it does it unpredictably. Or unpredictable, unpredictable, it does it unpredictably to an unpredictable degree. Because some things that are true today are going to be true tomorrow, but other things aren't, and you don't know which, ones, which one of those are going to shift. Now, I think if you want to get an, a practical idea, of how the environment moves around, one of the best ways to do that is to try to predict the stock market. Because it's pretty easy to predict the stock market based on past performance, but it's very, very difficult to predict the st stock market by deriving formulas that predicted past performance to predict the future. In fact, there's no evidence that you can do it. And so most money managers, for example, do worse than chance at picking stocks. So, and so, you know, I've thought for a long time about why anybody would ever invest their money with a money manager in the stock market, and the best answer I come up with is that people don't want to take responsibility for making mistakes with their money, and so they have a lot of money, and it makes them nervous, and so they don't th they, they they don't know anything about investing, and maybe you can't, but anyways, they don't know anything about investing, and so they parse the money off to a money manager who's an expert, and then if they lose their money, they can say to themselves, well, at least I had an expert looking after it. But if you look into it deeply, you find that there's... The bulk, the preponderance of the evidence suggests that you cannot 
get enough information to accurately predict what the stock market is going to do at all. And you can kind of see that that's true, because if you could get a consistent edge of, say, one-tenth of one percent, which sounds like nothing, all you'd have to do is repeat your bets over and over, and soon you'd have all the money in the world, because of compounding. So, and the stock market is a good model of the environment, because it is, in fact, a model of the environment. It's not a model of the entire environment, obviously, but all sorts of things affect stock market prices, right? Psychological factors and biological factors and weather and political events and so forth. So, as far as models of the environment go, it's a pretty good one. And you can't stay, you can't keep up with it, fundamentally. So, so you can think of the environment that way, it's this thing that's dancing around and some elements of it are more stable than, than others, so for example, the sun appears to be pretty stable, at least on our time frame, so that's a good thing but lots of things can't be relied on from one moment to another and you don't know what direction it's going to turn so the way that life deals with that is by producing a plethora of variants and basically letting anything that doesn't work die so evolution requires an awful lot of death you know, and there's ideas that what we've done to some degree is we've internalized the evolutionary process because we can invent fictional representatives of ourselves right, which would be our potential future selves and we can run simulations of the environment and kill off all those potential future selves that don't look like they would actually survive and that's really what we think about as thinking okay, so